Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. This is Pastor Rowell Idio and you are watching the Wednesday Bible Study at J1 Burdubay page. Yon, good evening po sa bawat isa. At I uh, would like to uh, welcome everyone who are watching right now at uh, encourage na mag-share po tayo uh, as I'm doing right now. <laughs> Nag-share po ako. Kaya hawak ko po yung cellphone ko while I'm uh, greeting you right now. Ay, uh, nag-share po ako. Pakishare din po para may matutunan po ang ating mga kaibigan, mga mahal sa buhay, uh, kasama sa bahay. No? Sabi po doon sa Hosea 4.6, My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So, para hindi po sila ma-destroy ay uh, uh, tulungan po natin sila. You can help by sharing. Ayun, sharing is caring. Sabi nga. <laughs> sharing. Share the word of God po. Kung uh, you cannot do it uh, on your own, ito po. This is a chance for us to share the gospel. Mga kapatid, uh, pa-share po naman doon sa inyong mga uh, kakilala na yung gusto nyo makarinig ng salita ng Diyos. This is a Bible study and we're going to continue ang ating pong pag-aaral ng uh, Book of John, or the Gospel of John. And um, nandun na po tayo sa John chapter 19. No? And uh, so uh, again, I'm encouraging everyone to share. Share po. No? Yan. Marami na ako na-share. Yun lang. Kabagal ng aking cellphone. Hindi <laughs> naman po. Bagal eh, what to do yan eh. <laughs> Yan, sige po, i-share lang po ninyo. Pakishare naman po sa wall. Bikay naman. O naman, unless tayo po ikinahihiya natin ang, ang word of God. Huwag po natin ikahiya na i-share, lalo na to mga salita ng Lord. Ano po? We should not be ashamed of sharing the gospel para tayo po ay hindi rin ikahiya ng Lord. Ano? Sige po, i-share po natin. Huwag po tayong mahiya. Lalo-lalo na sa wall ninyo para na makita ng ano, mga kaibigan nyo na Christian pala. Christian ka pala. Yun. Hallelujah. Yun. Mala- marami na. Sige po. Uh, I'm, I will give you some time to share it. Bago po tayo mag-umpisa ay uh, sige po at uh, mag-share po tayo. Okay? Mm-hmm. Marami na to. Okay. Sige po. Naka-50 na yata ako. Pinag-sharean. Yun. 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 Okay. 50 na ba? O 30 lang yata eh. Hindi mo multiply eh. Yan. Anyway. So, batiin ko lang po yung ating mga viewers right now who are watching regularly. Yan, nandiyan po si uh, Jonathan Jimenez Heron, ang aking hipag na si uh, Jane Francisco Idio. Nora Russell Soriana is also watching with us. And um, dyan din si uh, Anna Elizabeth Gonzalez, which is at Mimi. <laughs> Si Camille Buwan, Maria Camille Buwan. Si Cord is also watching. Good evening po. Venus Valientes, magandang 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 gabi. Mel Justi Jabez at Antonet si Yasat San Pedro. Yon. Hallelujah. Praise God. At uh, yon si Cherry. Cherry, kamusta ka na? I hope you are well now. Yon. At uh, today is nagse-celebrate nga pala ng birthday si Meiji. No? Meiji Langgita. Oh, nasaan na kaya yun? Ang mga kalalang. Mga kala, kalalang family. Kamusta po kayo dyan? Happy birthday, Meiji. Happy birthday to you. Sino pa po yung nagsa-celebrate ng karawan ngayon? At mamaya may pag-pray natin. Mabati natin. Yan. Bukas ay October 1 na. Yan. <laughs> Today is September 30. Pinalala ko lang. <laughs> Wala lang. <laughs> Ayan, charot lang. <laughs> Char. <laughs> Sabi niya. Anyway, so Marian Caballes is also watching yun. Mary, si Meiji, nanonood na. 
Yun. Meiji Pacheco Langeta. Happy birthday, Langga. Yun. Kamusta po kayo dyan, mga kalalang family? Si uh, Ann Kalalang, si uh, Ira, si Kenrick. Yun. Hallelujah. Blessed evening po sa inyo lahat dyan. And so, tonight, we're going to study yung John chapter 19, verse 21 to 22. Amen po ba? Sino pa lang nakarecall ng ating pinag-aralan uh, uh, <laughs> last week? <laughs> si Camille Buwan ay nag- uh, Good evening, Edgar! Eklarinal. Si Ega, Eklarinal. Magandang gabi sa'yo. Kamusta ka na, bro? Yun. Eh, hopefully, we, we can, I can see you soon. Yun. Si Edgar. Yun. At um, wala, walang pizza. <laughs> Mayroong kaming dinner. <laughs> Mayroong kaming dinner. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hindi, ako lang ang invited. Praise God. At uh, so, sa tayo po yung uh, mag-aral na, ha? Tama na muna yung pagkain, puro pagkain. Hallelujah. Sige po, let's us pray. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Let us invite the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. For He has said in His word that two or three gathered in His name, He will be in our midst. And tonight, Father God, we are more than two or three. At alam namin, Lord, nakasama ka namin, and you are listening, and you will minister to us, Lord. Ang man yung pangangailangan ng mga, aking, mga kapatid, Lord, ikaw, Lord, ang tutugon nito, Lord. Ano ang panalangin ng sino man na nanonood at manonood, Lord, ng broadcast na ito, ng stream na ito, Lord, I pray, Father God, that you would answer, as you always do, Lord. Salamat po. Diyos, bigyan mo po ang bawat isa ng wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for us to comprehend the words that you're going to reveal to us tonight. At ikaw lamang ang Lord ang maluwalhati, maparangalan, Lord. In everything we do, we give glory to your name. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. So, Lito Albior is also watching. Lenny Lontok. Okay. Si Kirsten Silgian. And uh, good evening po sa mga taga JA Wandera. Shout out po dyan sa inyo. Kamusta po kayo? And may, may Baremeda Cabos while working. <laughs> while working, nanonood ah. Bawal yan. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and uh, John chapter 9. Basahin po natin. Buksan po natin yung Bible up natin if you have or just read it uh, sa screen po ninyo right now. It's uh, written in John chapter 19 verse 21 to 22. Ang sabi po doon, the chief priests of the Jews protested to Pilate. This is after po na isulat o pasulat ni Pilate yung, uh, uh, ano yun? Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. So, yun na po yung nakasulat, di ba? In three, uh, kung inyo pong marirecall, di ba? We, uh, we studied bakit uh, Jesus of Nazareth and bakit uh, King of the Jews. Last week, we studied that yung King of the Jews, no? So, natindan nyo po. Ang sabi po ngayon, and, and this, the, the chief priest of the Jews protested to Pilate. Yung po yung chapter 19, verse 21 up to 22. Ang sabi po niya, Do not write the king of the Jews, but that this man claim to be king of the Jews. Verse 22, Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. Yung po yung sabi ni Pilate. So, ang Diyos po ang mapagpuri sa kanyang salita. Yun. Hallelujah. One of the most important milestones in history, mga kapatid, was the invention of movable printing press in 1450 by Johannes Gutenberg. Yun. Okay? O yan, history po ha. In 1450, Johannes Gutenberg invented yung Printing press, movable printer press. The first major book to be printed on that press was the Bible. At 180 copies lamang po were printed. No? So, and this was followed by uh, different printing presses and thousands of Bibles in various languages were printed within the next century. Pero one very memorable printed edition of the Bible was a reprint of the King James Version by a printing company in London in 1631. Ito po yung pinaka-memorable 
na copy ng King James Version. No? Ang problema po is uh, there was one very glaring error in this Bible which was not discovered until after a thousand copies had been printed. That's the problem. Na kapag imprenta po na ng isang libo, no, then they discovered that there was an error. Pero isa lang pong error. It was the omission of only one word. Isang salita lang po ha. Isang word lang po ha. Ano po yung natanggal? O nawala. No? The word not. Yung not lang po. N-O-T. Ito lang po yung natanggal, na-omit. When they were printing um, copies of the Bible, the King James Version, no? there was a word that was omitted or natanggal, hindi nila na po na. And it was only after a thousand copies has been printed, doon lang nila na po na that there is this word, the word not, that was omitted or natanggal. I don't know if it is intentional or what. But the problem was that This word was omitted in the seventh commandment in Exodus, Exodus chapter 20. Kaya po, parang iba yung, ibang iba lang po, isang word lang ang natanggal, eh, ang laki po na epekto. Bakit po? Ano po ba ang sabi doon sa Exodus chapter 20 na yan? No? Ang sabi po doon, ito po yung ten commandment. Pake pampito, ano po yung pampitong commandment? Do shall not commit adultery. Ay, natanggal po yung not. So, nakasulat po ay, Do shall commit, Thou shall commit adultery. As a result, this serious omission po, the printers were fined $300. dollars. But, but this is in 1631. Year 1631. And $300 dollars is a... Is a is equivalent to a month's salary ng isang tao. And their printing license was revoked. No? Most, cop- most copies of this Bible, uh, which, came, which became known as the Wicked Bible, were destroyed and only 11 of them have survived and are found in some museum collections today. This demonstrates, mga kapatid, the great consequences that a mere omission in printing can produce. Biro nyo yung word na not lang, di ba, natanggal, and it has a great consequence. Di ba? This evening, mga kapatid, we are going to see how an omission in a piece of, writed, of writing had great consequences as well. But this time, the omission had the effect of bringing out an important truth to the whole world it brought out the real truth about the one who was dying on a cross. No? The passage of Scripture describes yung ating pong binasa, how our Lord, our Lord Jesus was crucified. After Pilate had yielded, oy, sige, kunin nyo na, because of the intense pressures, pressure from the Jews to sentence him to death, the Roman soldiers made Jesus his carry his on cross to a place outside Jerusalem called Golgotha. Mga alas 9 po ng umaga, when they stripped him, 9 a.m. in the morning, they stripped him and nailed him to the cross. In the, in the morning, 9 a.m. in the morning. May 9 a.m. ba ng evening? <laughs> the other side of the world. And two thieves were crucified at the same time with Jesus. Right in between them. So, mayroon siyang kasama. Diba? Ito yung pinag natin last time. For the next six hours, Jesus endured the excruciating agony of a slow and painful death, mga kapatid. It is said that crucifixion is the most cruel, most degrading, and most diabolical form of execution ever invented by man. It was only used to punish pirates, rebel- rebellious slaves, and worse criminals in society. No? Al- alam niyo po ba ang ginagawa sa mga, no? I know, nakita niyo na sa movies, no? The victim was uh, fully exposed to the heat of the sun by the day and to the chilly air of the night. No? Nakababad yan, maghapon. No? The tension 
on the outstretched arms made it very difficult for him to breathe normally, causing moisture to accumulate in his lungs. Nagkakaroon ng tubig sa baga. That resulted from a combination of factors including hunger, dehydration, loss of blood, ano, hypovolemic shock, hypovolemic yung na loss nga yung dahil nga na lo, nagkaroon ng loss of blood and infection of the nails uh, of, of the wounds because of the nails no besides the physical torture there was also the emotional torture of being completely naked mga kapatid Jesus was completely naked no? when he was nailed on the cross roman crucifixion fiction was always carried out in a very public place with plenty of human traffic in order to maximize the victim's humiliation para talagang mapahiya no at makita ng mga tao then they will say I, i don't want to be like him and uh, ganun ang ano ang intention kaya public po yan that is why it was considered the most shameful and disgraceful way to die And in the case of Jesus, all this was further aggravated, mas, mas matindi po po, po by the insults that were hurled at him by the soldiers. Eh, di ba? He was insulted and kung ano yung sinasabi, bukod doon sa mga soldiers, yung chief priests, scribes, and even yung katabi niyang magnanakaw. And to make matters worse, the soldiers who crucified him divided up his garments and cast lots or his coats, right there in front of him. Yung damit niya, di ba? Pinag-anuhan pa ng, ano, and, nag, uh, ano sila? Cast lots, ano ba yan? <laughs> yung parang, pinagsugalan, yon. Now, so na, ano natin, mga kapatid, na-recall na natin, how difficult it is, how humiliating it is, ha? Yung crucifixion. Just imagine, now, right now, that you are one of those who were traveling to Jerusalem on that fateful morning. Sige, kung isipin natin, no, this is what, what I want actually you to, to, you to do. Imagine yourself traveling to Jerusalem on that fateful morning. And as you approach the gate on the northern side of the city, no, you begin to hear a lot of shouting, of very harsh words. So, narinig ka lang, ah, 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 And when you look, siyempre, tayo naman, di ba? At ah, ano, ususero, <laughs> ususero, ususera, no? And siyempre, titignan ko, ano kaya yun? What is happening there? And when you look for the cause of the commotion, you notice an unusually large crowd of people gathered around three wooden cross on which human victims have been nailed. So nakita mo, mayroong tatlong tao na nakapako sa cross. And then, say, lumapit ka. Siyempre, o sa sera, di ba? <laughs> you observe that the most vocal ones in the crowd are the highest ranking judges of the city. Yung pinaka, chipris pa. Yung ano, nagsisigaw doon. So, hindi ka naman, hindi ba? Eh, they seem to be particularly unkind to the victim on the middle of in the middle of the cross. Yung nasa gitna, doon sila, ano, talaga nakapokus na mang, ano, no? mang asar. And in fact, this victim seems to be bearing the brunt of humiliation from everyone there, including the other two victims. Pati yung katabi niya, eh, inaasap din siya. And so, from what you see, you draw your own conclusion. Di ba? Eh, nakita mo. Ang ginagawa sa, doon sa nakapako sa krus, lalo na doon sa naka, nasa gitna. This surely has to be a very wicked man. Di ba? Ganun yung maging conclusion. Ito siguro ang taong ito, isalbahin. Daming pinagagawang kasalanan. Ang kalupit siguro na ito, kaya ito yung pinarusahan ng garit. Kaya siguro galit na galit Itong mga taong are dito sa taong nasa gitna, he must have done something really uh, bad to be treated like this. Siguro ganun yung magiging reaction mo, di ba? Eh, sa totoo lang, di ba? In reality, in reality, when you, when you put yourselves in that situation na ikaw ay ano, onlooker, 
onlooker, iba? Out of you, curiosity, you now go a bit nearer. So, ikaw, lalapit ng konti pa. Lapit pa ng konti. Eh. Gusto mo makita, sino kaya ayun? <laughs> eh, syempre, gusto mo rin mabasa. Ano makasalanan na re? Iba, lalapit kang ganun. You go a bit nearer to find out exactly what this victim has done. Babasahin mo yung nakasulat doon sa ano? Sa taas, di ba? You know that when the Romans conduct ex- executions, they usually place a signboard above each victim, di ba? With his crime written on it. And so you look up the other signboards that are nailed to the three crosses. Sa tatlo. Uh, and you read the victim's name and crying on the signboard of the left and right crosses. Both of them, yung magkabila, ano? are thieves who have committed many acts of armed robbery. Wow. Ay, grabe tong dalawang to. Yung dalawa. Diba? Ganun yung magiging ano mo, eh, thinking mo. Eh. Um, they, dapa, they deserve that. Yan. Buti nga. <laughs> Ganun pa. Minsan yung buti nga sa kanila. Nahuli din. Naparusahan. Yan. Mga salbahe. Oh, diba? Ganun. Ganun yung magiging reaction mo. Ayun. And, uh, <laughs> all that is says in three different languages. Pagtingin mo dun sa, ano, sa nasa gitna. Ay, sandali. Bakit ganun yung nakasulat dun sa gitna? Ano ba yung nakasulat? But the sign but that really puzzles you is the one in the middle of the cross. The middle cross. No, yung nasa gitna. There seems to be no charge or accusation of any crime. Diba? All that it says in three different languages is this Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Yun na nakasulat. Sandali, bakit? Bakit ganon? If this Jesus of Nazareth is really the King of the Jews, as the soundboard says, then why is he being crucified? Bakit ganon? Diba? Kung ikaw yung looker, eh, gano'n ang magiging reaction mo, eh, di ba? And why is he so terribly maligned and humiliated by his own subjects? Hey, king of the Jews, hey, Harry, why are the Jews not giving their king the honor he deserves from them? Di ba? Yun yung magiging ano mo, eh, reaction mo. Eh. These were probably the kind of questions on the minds of many people who passed by Golgotha that day. When they read the strange piece of writing that was attached to the cross of Jesus, the answers to these questions come in the form of three truths about that piece of writing. Mga kapatid, ito, tandaan po natin. Unang-una, first, the Jews wanted it to depict their charges against Jesus. Doon po sa... Verse 21, nung binasa po natin, when the chief priests of the Jews read the piece of writing, they um, immediately complained to Pilate that it should read Jesus of Nazareth. He said, I am the king of the Jews. Dapat po daw ganon. He said, I'm the king of the Jews. Or Jesus is the one claiming to be the king of the Jews. No? I, of course, they, they are right. They are quite right. The purpose of the piece of writing was to correctly depict the charge for which Jesus was crucified. We have read that when the chief priests and scribes brought Jesus to be tried by Pilate, their main accusation was that Jesus was a dangerous threat to the Roman Empire because he tried to make himself the king of the Jews to start a rebellion. Yung po yung chinard sa kanya. But when Pilate examined him, on this charge, he found that the kingship that Jesus claimed was only a spiritual one and not a political one. Kaya gusto niyang palayain si Jesus. Hence, Jesus posed no threat at all to the Roman Empire. And Pilate rightly declared that he found no fault in Jesus. Wala po talagang kasalanan si Jesus. But after that, the Jews put great pressure on Pilate. And they threatened him to, re- to 
And they threatened to report him to Caesar o yung pinaka emperor if he were to release someone who had claimed to be a king. So, bawal po kasi yun. Since Pilate loved his position as the, as the ano, uh, para governor of Judea, he, reluc- he reluctantly gave orders to have Jesus crucified. Yung po yung nangyari. The Jews were, of course, very happy about it. Eh, tuwa sila. Yung kanilang plano, yung evil schemes nila, had worked well. Eh, iniisip nila, ang galing natin. Eh, how smart we are to have used this accusation against Jesus, one that the Roma simply cannot tolerate. Itong accusation na to, king of the Jews, eh, hindi nila kayang itolerate yan. The Jews would wouldn't have had any success if they have used the real charge they had all to condemn Jesus for in their own trial. Ang ano lang nila, ang charge nila is yung blasphemy, blasphemy for claiming to be the son of God. Yun dapat po kasi yung charge nila eh. No? Little did they know that their scheme would backfire on them through the piece of writing that would be placed on the cross. Na nakasulat, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. It was supposed to read Jesus of Nazareth. He said, I am King of the Jews. Dapat po, ganun ang ganun eh, pero hindi eh. And since it was to be read by everyone, they thought that this piece of writing would justify the accusation of Jesus in the eyes of all men and free their own conscience from bearing any guilt for it. But it did not but they did not anticipate that Pilate would omit the words he said. Yung po yun, hindi inumit o hindi tinanggal ni Pilate yung he said I am. Ay, tinanggal pala, baligtad naman pala. Pilate would not omit or would omit the words tinanggal ni Pilate yung he said I am. Doon sa nakasulat. Kaya natira po doon, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Yun. Ang supposedly ang nakasulat ay, Jesus of Nazareth, He said, I am the, the King of the Jews. Yun. Eh, tinanggal. These omitted words made a lot of difference. Yung po yun. Nung tinanggal, eh, ang laki ng diferensya. Without them, the writing was a proclamation rather than an accusation. Kaya ang nangyari, proclamation po yung Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Hindi naging accusation yon. O yung charge. Ano? It described Jesus instead of denouncing Him. No? Instead of denouncing Him, naging description mismo, tunay na description mismo ang nakalagay doon. Oh, naintindihan po ba natin? And it had the effect of, ang nangyari, anakon them, the Jews, because they would now be implicated as those who had put their own king to death. Di ba? Ngayon, bakit nila pinag- King of the Jews pala si Jesus of Nazareth? Why would they put their own king to death? Yun po yun nangyari. Naintindihan, nabaliktad ngayon. And this was Probably what Pilate intended his writing to do. No? Yung po yung nangyari. Yung po yung <laughs> nabaliktad sila. No? Sila ang nakundem. Pangalawa, Pilate used it to display his contempt for the Jews. Gustong ipakita ni, uh, ni Pilate yung contempt niya, yung inis niya, galit niya, asar niya sa mga Jews. You will notice that when the Jews complained to him about his writing, Pilate didn't say, oh, I'm sorry. Pasensya na, nagkamali eh. Hindi eh, hindi wala pong ganun eh. Ima sabihin, tut, ay, siguro napagod, napagod ako eh. Ano? Kasi um, umaga pa lang, aga-aga eh. Dinala nyo na siya dito. Wala, walang dahilan ganun. Eh, sige, papakorek. Hindi po ganun. Wala, walang ganun. He just looked at them and said with cold defiance, what I have written, I have written. <laughs> he must have been laughing within himself in sobering the sweetness of his psychological revenge. No? 
'di ba? Yun po yung nangyari. Now at last, the Jews were paying dearly for forcing him to do their dirty work against Jesus. Yun po yung parang palagay niya o yung nararamdaman niya siguro. Siguro, we can learn a useful lesson from this, mga kapatid. Whatever evil a person may scheme will be, will backfire on him later on. Pananagutan niya. Ma, pananagutan po natin yan. For whatever a man sow, that shall, that shall he also reap. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Hindi po yan yung karma, ha? We don't believe in karma. It's a different religion po. If you believe in karma, it's a different religion po, ha? Lilinawin ko, ha? Ang sa atin po, ang sabi po sa Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Aanihin mo. Kung ano yung itinanim, yun ang aanihin mo. Please do not think that you can get away with sin and that you will not have to face its adverse effect. For the Bible says, be sure your sin will find you out. Numbers 32.23 In the case of these Jews, Pilate was the one who made them pay for what they have done. But in the case of every unsaved sinner, mga kapatid, God will be the one to exact the full payment. Hihingin po sa atin ang buong kabayaran yan. Pagbabayaran po natin yan. Pagtutuusan po natin ang lahat ng bagay sa Lord. We will appear to Him on judgment sa judgment day, no? And it is most fearful thing to face His righteous judgment. Tandaan niyo po yun. No? So let all sinners be warned that they have incurred God's wrath by their sins. And even though what Pilate did to the Jews here may have been used of God to make them pay for their sin, Pilate himself will have to answer to God for his own simple motive of seeking revenge. Pag, pagdurusahan niya rin po yan, no? haharapin din niya po yan. What he wrote on that piece of writing was meant to display his personal contempt for the Jews. History records that Pilate could never get along with the Jews throughout his entire time as, term as the Roman governor of Judea. <coughs> Excuse me. He disliked them so much that he used any opportunity he had to put them down. And now he wanted them to be ridiculed o pagtawanan by the world as a people who crucified their own king. Gusto niya mapagtawanan ang mga Diyos dahil na kinrusipaw, ipinakos nila sa krus ang kanilang sariling hari. And who really should be crucified along with him? It was not that Pilate had any respect or regard for Jesus. Actually, when he wrote the words, this is Jesus of Nazareth, king of the Jews, and placed it on the cross, hindi po dahil sa nire-respeto niya. If he had any respect or regard for Jesus, he would never have allowed his crucifixion to take place. To Pilate, the kingship of Jesus was merely a convenient means he could use to fulfill his own selfish purpose. Dahil mayroon siyang sariling Motive, yung po yung totoo. Do you know that many people today do the same thing as Pilate? Ganun din po. Ang, uh, tayo, uh, easily condemn. Ah, si Pilate napakasalbahe. Hindi, ma, hindi niya alam ba ang ginagagawin dapat niya. Dapat ganitong ginawa niya eh. Ano pong nangyari? No? Ang nangyayari po, a lot of people use the name of Jesus as a means to, pil- to fulfill their own selfish ends. Di ba? Maraming tao ang gumagamit ang pangalan ni Jesus para sa sarili nilang ano, kapakanan. Some proclaim Jesus is king because doing so brings them good fortune. Ay, di ba? O na... Yun, dahil merong pagpapala, merong biyaya pala. 
there, there are entertainers and singers and songwriters who would praise the name of Jesus with music only because it boosts their sails and fills their coppers with wealth. Para lang yumaman. Di ba? Marami ginagamit ang, reli- ang pananampalataya para yumaman. If you want to be rich, di ba? No one hindi nagbabayad ng buwis. <laughs> eh, siya. Di ba? Magtayo ka ng sarili mong relihiyon at yayaman ka. Marami po yan. And let me say this. Anyone who uses the name of Jesus to gain who uses the name of Jesus to gain popularity, power, or prosper, prosperity is actually no different from Pilate who used the name of Jesus in his writing to display his contempt for the Jews. So, mga kapatid, please be careful not to use the name of Jesus as a means to fulfill your selfish ambitions and desires. Nga po, di ba? Do not use the name of God in vain. No? Yung ginagawang bubble gum o yung bang pag nagmumura, isinasama sa pagmumura. Ay ba? Isinasama sa pag nag, 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 ginagawang, ano ba yan? Yung pag nagre-react expression. Yan. Di ba? Ginagawang expression. Bawal na bawal po yun. Huwag do not, mga kapatid. Huwag po natin gamitin ang name of God or kahit yung simpleng nagulat, ano? Ginagawang ano na lang, yung... Again, reminder po ito sa bawat isa. Reminder po. If you really want to honor Christ, you must give Him the rightful place He deserves in your life as your Lord and King. Mga kapatid, live your life fully for the Lord Jesus alone and seek to exalt Him in everything you do so that the world may know that Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And that was also, mga kapatid, the ultimate reason for the piece of writing that was placed on the cross of Jesus as we now see. The next point. Pangatlo, God planet to declare Christ lordship to the world. Ito po yung talagang plan. plano po talaga ng Lord. Even though the writing of the words Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, had emerged out of sim- sinful dealings between the Jews and Pontius Pilate, it providentially became the most accurate proclamation of the truth about Jesus. And it was broadcast publicly in three main languages on that day. No? Yung po yun. Mga kapatid. Ha? As this writing was meant to be read and understood by all men, regardless of race, language, age, or social distinction, it declared to the whole world the amazing truth that Jesus was crucified as a king. Although he was humiliated, as the worst of criminals and suffered great agony on the cross, he was in reality the almighty king, sacrificing his own life to save his people. Here was a king who is truly different from every other king or ruler of this world. No, The king of this world expects to be served and depended depended by all their subjects, but this king came to serve his subjects by saving them from sin and destruction. The king of this world claimed allegiance from their subjects either by force or by right or of inheritance. Diba? Usually, ay, uh, sa nasa, ay yung mga king, mga nanakop, sumakop ng mga ano uh, kanilang teritoryo at yung mga nasa kupan ay they he, he will force them to submit yeah? uh, or some sometimes yung iba naman po they inherited di ba or by election but this king claims as for his own by redeeming us from eternal death and by receiving the punishment for our sins and dying in our place. He knew 
He who knew no sin was made to bear our sins on the cross so that we might be saved forever. Mga kapatid, this is the message of God that God wants all who look at the cross to receive. This is, ito po yung gustong ipabatid sa atin. Hindi lang tayo on look eh. No? Dapat po may mensahe. Hindi yung, okay, nanaanan po natin, nakinig tayo dito, tapos lumabas dun sa kabila. No? We know that there was at least one person there who do, who res- understood and responded to it. It was one of the thieves, di ba, who were crucified with Jesus. He turned to Jesus and said to him, Lord, remember me when you come into thy kingdom. These words indicate strongly that what caused this tip to change was that piece of writing on the cross that said, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The tip had read this and pondered over its meaning. Inisip niya, isipin po natin. Isipin po din natin yan. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Mga kapatid, kaya hindi po ito talaga, o kaya po talaga inumit ni Pilate yon because he is he you know yung yung tip na ito he had noticed how unusual it was that there was no accusation of any crime in it but a proclamation that Jesus is king the message of the writing on the cross got through loud and clear to that dying thief and it brought him to salvation Perhaps it may also get through to someone here today. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, if you have not turned to Jesus, o oh, mayroong kang kakilala na hindi pa tumanggap ka Jesus, I urge you not to put it off anymore. Wag mong ipagpaliban, kapatid. Look at the cross where the Savior died and behold how greatly He loves sinners like you and me. Kapatid, read carefully the writing on it that says, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Can you see him now as the great king who accomplishes his sovereign will of saving sinners by, who, by whom he will be praised? Will you obey his royal command to turn from your sins right now and ask him for salvation? Will you be the one? Of, will you be one of those who praise Him for saving you? Will you hear the Lord Jesus saying to you when you die today? Today you shall with me in paradise. Gusto mo bang marinig yung prayer, kay Lord? Gusto mo ba? I trust that this message of the writing on the cross will speak not only to the unsaved in our midst but to all of us who are saved as well. I believe it is saying to us that since the king we worship had suffered so much on the cross to save us from sin, we should not be unwilling to suffer for him. In our service, no? if we truly understand the message of that piece of writing well, we will no longer live as we do now, so complacent in our comfortable lives, so cold in our life and devotion to Christ. And so, unwilling to give our best to Him. Kung naintindihan po talaga natin ito, hindi tayo ganito eh. Hindi tayo ganito. Kung talagang naintindihan natin ang aral na ito, yung nakasulat doon, kung naintindihan mo, kapatid. Di ba? Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. How can we all call Him our King if all that we give to Him are the leftovers of our time, talents, and treasures? Yung tira-tira lang, kung available lang, paano mo matatawag na siya ay King? How can you call Jesus our King if we are not prepared to deny ourselves? 
take up our cross daily and follow Him. Yung konting uh, sakit lang, konting ano, maliliit na bagay. Petty things. Di ba? Sandaling ano, sakit. Give up na. Nakalimutan na ang pangako. Nakalimutan na yung panalangin. Nakalimutan na yung mga bagay na ginawa ng Lord. Jesus, King of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. When we read that, we should always be reminded. I am reminded. Corinto. Kapatid, today, let us really put it in our hearts. Jesus of Nazareth is the King of the Jews. He is our King. King of kings and the Lord of lords. So naintindihan po natin yon sa sarili natin. Praise God. Go, kapatid. Share mo. Mag-share po tayo. Share this uh, Bible study. At, uh, para naman po mayroon din magazine. <laughs> Ma-remind, ma-encourage. Amen po ba? Yes, Father God. We thank you sa uh, gabi pong ito. Salamat po. We bless your holy name. Salamat po, Lord, sa pagtutuwid sa amin sa pagpaalala sa amin, Lord. Uh, there were a lot of instances. There were several instances in our life that we tend to forget who you are in our life. Nakakalimutan po namin, Lord. And we ask, Lord, for your forgiveness. We ask, O oh God, for you to continue, Lord, to guide us. Sa patuloy mo, Lord, na ilagay sa puso namin na paglingkurang ka Uh, to bear the cross, uh, to deny ourselves, O oh God, take, take our own cross daily and follow you, whatever the cost is, O oh God. Salamat po, O oh Diyos. Sa mensahe mo, Lord, I pray, Father God, that this message will, will strengthen us, will strengthen our faith, will lift us up, O oh God, to a new level of faith, O oh God. We pray, Father God, for each and every one that are watching right now, that you would open, Lord, their spiritual ears, their spiritual heart, uh, for them to understand and comprehend these words. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Thank you, Lord. We glorify and lift your name on high. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. This all we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Again, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, patingin ko lang po muna si Faith Antonio, Russell Iglesia, Phil Feralta, Ron Catungal, and uh, Rachel Mello, Luz Langkay, uh, Ati Tina Sumpay, Mary Ann Jacobi Tenorio, ayan, Aljon, Jim Aljon Jimenez, Aljon Gonzalez, John Ray Panimbatan, Joanna Marie Tolentino, Ayon, magandang uh, gabi po sa inyong lahat. At uh, this is Pastor Roel Idio. Nag-iwan po sa inyo na. Good evening at uh, God bless everyone.